I went to Gibson, Tanaya, and Bullard. I graduated 2013. Um, I've lived in Fresno my whole life. Just been on a few vacations here and there. Um, we used to have the pro Fresno Falcons. Um, I was three at the time, and our neighbor uh, was playing. He was the captain, Greg Spinreth, and they moved in next door. I mean, we used to go to all the Falcons games. I was always there, and just uh, it was kind of funny. Like you'd watch him, and he used to—he was a big, tough guy, and you'd watch him go play, and then we'd get home, and then next thing you know, he's home, and you'd watch him like pull up after his game. So yeah. I don't know. Did he the, start teaching you anything, or? You uh, whenever I'd play out in the yard, he'd come over and goof with me every once in a while, but. Yeah, as much as you could. Uh, this is my fifth year. Uh, it's my last year. Uh, I s played my whole career in Fresno. It's kind of funny. I have a lot of friends that went and played LA, went and played here, went and played there. Um, I stayed here. Uh, I played with a few tournament teams, you know, do special tournaments or whatnot. And then we ended up having the junior team. I was planning on moving away to go when I was 14, go play somewhere else. The junior team came here that year and I just I had one more year and then I was going to try to commit and then luckily I made it when I was 15. We have, I think it's four weeks, we're off to Vegas and it's the big showcase. Everyone in the league shows up to Vegas and that's when there's college scouts, there's tons of them. Um, I've seen 70, 100 scouts every year that are at our games, or even if they're not there, they're watching. And so last year I got talked to by a few teams, you know, but they wait till your 20 year old year. Um, we've matured a lot more uh, as a player. I know for school too, I'm way more excited to go to school. Uh, had a rough go when I was younger, but I'm actually like excited to do that. But then we play four games, they watch us, um, they like us, they talk to us after. Um, and you just kind of move from there. You see if that's the school for you. If they like you enough, you get to come out and you get to try out, make the team. If not, you're going to school there. I do want to play pro. I kind of, I want to go play pro in Europe. I think it'd be a great experience. There's some really fun leagues where you make good, I mean, you make pretty good money and it's just, I think it'd be an awesome experience. We had a very new team at the beginning. It was funny because my past years, we've had a good group of guys uh, that returned, so it wasn't that hard to like get the camaraderie. And this year, it didn't. It's not that it was like off or anything. It just took us a little longer to get used to everybody. I mean, we laugh about it now. Like the first few weeks, the locker room was pretty quiet. Now we can't shut up. So. <laughs> <laughs> it's pretty funny to yeah. think about. Out on the ice, you guys gelling too? Yeah, definitely, definitely. Yeah. We've come a long way. We always feed off, like, we go some places and they don't have the... That's one great thing about Fresno. There's not a lot of people that understand hockey, but, I mean, we get people that come out here all the time to watch our games mm -hmm. that have no idea, and they're just... We can get very loud in here. I mean, we're at Gateway, but... It's a, it gets loud when we have a full, full barn, definitely. So yeah, it, it helps when you have everyone into it. It gets us excited. You got everyone screaming at you, of course you're gonna be excited. I have a lot of friends that come watch my games and they're like, like they tell me I'm a completely different person off the ice. Oh really? Uh, yeah, I just, I'm so, I don't know, I'm just so focused on the ice and I'm probably just not as nice as I yeah. usually am. When I was younger, you didn't have the people like, you had a lot of people going like, oh, who are you guys, you know? Now we have people that say, oh, I haven't been to a game, but I've heard of you guys and I heard you guys are doing really well. We have a solid core of people that, that have always come to the games and you see their faces every night, you know? Um, and then you have the new people that are coming out and it's like, it's just awesome to see like, uh, I've seen a lot of like younger kids coming out that I've never ever seen before and they're all excited you know they're always uh, excited to see you and I think it's good. Yeah it's kind of funny because like last year I wasn't a 20 year old and those guys are like oh man like last year and there's such a lifestyle to junior hockey um, 
it's yeah, it's gonna suck. I, I'm enjoying it as much as I can. I soak up every moment of it. I really do.